Today, we're going to go retro. Hello everyone, Colin Canette here for Woodwork Web. A few videos ago, I made a video on using a dado blade, and we're not going to do that again, but what we are going to do, we're going to look at something called a wobble wheel. And this is a kind of dado blade that you used to be able to buy many years ago. I I have not been able to find a manufacturer of this lately, but I see these things at garage sales and swap meets, yard sales, all sorts of places. And every time I look at one, I, they're so cheap, they're like 5 or $10, I keep thinking I should buy one. And then I remember that I already have one at home that I don't use that often. So today, we're going to have a really good look at some old technology and see exactly what it's like. Most of you will already be familiar with a dado blade and this is called a stacking dado set and the way it works is you've got a regular size wheel on the outside then you have something called chippers that go inside and you can put a number of chippers in there and make it thicker or thinner depending on how deep the, the dado is you want to put and then you put another full size wheel on the back so you end up with something that looks like this, a, a wide looking um, table saw blade. Now there is another thing, uh, and as I said, I cannot find if anybody is still manufacturing these, but there's tons of them sold, and there's tons of them available. Uh, I see them all the time uh, used, and this is something called a wobble wheel, and I'm going to do a, a close up now so you can see exactly what this thing looks like. This is what a wobble wheel looks like. It's a single blade, but the difference that this has is the center of this blade pivots. And when it pivots, it means that the blade itself, when you turn the blade like this, uh, let's turn it like this, this is how it's going to be cutting, and we'll use this for the arbor of a saw. When you turn it to how this pivots, so when you get it in your table saw, there's, there it's level, and when you spin it, see how it, see how that blade spins like that? It, it wobbles back and forth. And when it does that, and we'll put it in the saw so you can see it, it actually makes a dado. Reasons that this isn't popular anymore. Uh, and one of, the, one of the reasons is, and it's anecdotal, so I don't know, but that's what we're going to look at today. One of the reasons is people who have these have said, that when you're cutting a dado, because it it cuts, it does this when it's cutting, um, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that you would end up getting, depending on how wide the cut is, you, you will get a little bit of a crowned bottom on your uh, dado cuts. And, and that may in fact be true, but the real question is, is how bad is that? Uh, is, it, is it something that you need to be concerned about? And that's what we're going to look at today, and we're going to cut some dados with this, and we're, I, I've never looked at it, so we'll see just how bad this crowning is. Maybe it's something that you can live with, and, you know, maybe you could pick up a, a used wobble wheel like this for a few bucks until you can afford, you know, these things are up in the hundreds of dollars, you know, typically over a hundred dollars, so uh, there's a pretty big difference in price there. So let's have a look at this and see what a wobble wheel actually does. So here we are at the table saw and I've set this in. I haven't put the nut on here yet so this isn't clamped yet but I wanted to give you a better idea. See how when you spin this, see how that wobbles back and forth like that? And if you change the settings on here, and I'll do a close-up of this so you can see what that looks like, um, like this, and spin it see how true it is now and that's because and let's have a close-up let's look at the adjustments on here so there's what the inner workings of this look like and right here move that into the picture right there there's a little notch you can barely see it and it's pointing to a number so all you have to do is rotate this number and that starts off at a little less than an eighth and as you rotate it around and, and this is where it's the, that the wheel is 
near perfect. It's, it's very true. But as you rotate it around like this, it goes all the way around to there's three quarters of an inch, and that's about what we're going to be using. The numbers are a little hard to read, but that's three quarters of an inch. And that goes up to, what is it, uh, looks like about 15 sixteenths, all the way up to there. But this little notch here, and these numbers are not, it's hard to tell exactly where it needs to be. So we're going to start off at three quarters of an inch right there because that's the material that we're cutting. There it is there, just some MDF so that we can see exactly what this looks like. So there's what it looks like when it's going to be spinning and I'm just going to put the nut on and finish setting this up and we'll speed this up so that uh, you don't have to see this all. going to be our first test cut. We're just testing to see how wide, if this dado, this is the piece we're trying to fit in, and let's test to see how wide that dado is. Okay, so we're quite a bit short, so we'll need to take that all apart and disassemble that. That's a little, it's a little looser than I like. I think I'll take it out and make one more adjustment just to bring it in a little bit tighter. It may not be perfect, but we'll get it a little bit closer here. That's a good tight fit. Now let's run our, these are just our tests. Let's actually run a strip now. Okay, let's cut our finished piece now. Have a look. Okay, let's get a nice tight look at that now. 
So there's that joint. And you can see for yourself what that looks like. It looks like there might be a little bit of a gap at the top there. It's tight at the bottom. And it looks like it, well, it looks like there's even a gap at the top there. Let's put a little bit of uh, pressure on there with a clamp and just see what that does. So there we are. We've put a clamp on there. And it's definitely tight at the bottom there. Hard to say. It doesn't look like it's tight at the bottom there. And there's a little bit of a, uh, might be a little bit of an arc in there. But uh, I, I don't think it's... Um, Depending on what you're doing, I don't think I think that's uh, pretty acceptable in there for uh, for most things. That's our look today at the wobble wheel. And if you didn't know what that was, now you'll know what that is. Look, if you've already got a, a stacking dado set, you're golden. If you have nothing for cutting dados, and you see these at thrift stores, uh, garage sales, flea markets. Uh, you can usually pick these up for like five or ten bucks. They're really cheap. Um, it looks like it does a pretty decent job. Yeah, there's a little bit of fiddling around, but you know, for for the the saw off of the price, it's a good place to at least start. I'll put some pictures on Woodwork Web, some close up pictures of the joint, so you can see that uh, in some better quality stills. And before I go, I want to remind you: if you haven't already subscribed to us, there will be a subscribe in the section right after this. We'll put a link to our dado video and remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web.